we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more definition to our lights in the background. So to do that, I'm going to show you guys a really cool technique. Actually, we're going to create a custom brush to create some definition with our light. So the custom brush we're going to use is basically going to be um, created out of a lens flare. So I've got some stock images here. And we're going to find one right down here. We have one basically of a lens flare. There we go. All right, so let's hit open command O to open that. Okay, now an image like this is super simple to actually apply onto your photo. If you wanted to just um, do this one time and do this regularly, just use your move tool, click and drag from one image to another. Let's hit F to full screen. And now we're going to use a blending mode. Basically, we're just going to use a blending mode that's going to make your blacks disapp disappear. Let's just hit command T to scale this down a little bit. So if you're only doing this one time, if you only had one of these flares, a really good way to do this would just be to change your blending mode from normal down here to screen. And that's going to get rid of your darks. So let's just make our darks a little bit darker just to make sure they go away completely. There we go. And there we've got a lighting effect that we can add on really anywhere you want on your image. A uh, quick tip when you're using these, um, be sure to make them visible over top of light areas. So they're going to make sense over top of light. You know, here in the sky, if you wanted to make it look like it was a sun, um, you know, here in a, a sign or something like that. But over here on something dark doesn't really make sense. So make sure you put it on something that's already going to be light. Now, this totally works, but I actually want to make this lighting effect, I want to duplicate this like many, many different times over top of each one of these lights. And because I want to do that, I'm going to create a custom brush that's going to allow me to do this really, really quickly. So we're going to show you guys how to do that. Back to this document here, we're going to go down to from image and then down to image size. We're going to change the size because right now it's huge. It's um, 9,000 by 6,000 pixels, which is really, really large. So our width here, let's just make this um, about 600 pixels. That's more than big enough to make a custom brush. Okay. Now, when you're using a custom brush in Photoshop, what you basically want to do is create a white background and then black wherever you want your brush to show up. And right now we've got the opposite. So I'm going to hit Command I on this layer. So we've got a white background and now close to black, but we've still got some color in there, basically where our brush is actually going to show up. So we're going to do a couple more adjustments on this before we turn it into a brush. All right, first thing I want to do is hit Shift Command U. That's going to desaturate this. We don't need any color. We're just creating a brush. Next, we're going to hit Command L. And I'm going to bring up our white point with this. So we're going to take our whites, and I'm just going to bring it out just a little bit. All right. So basically, what we've got here is this shape that's going to show up in as, as a brush. Now, whenever you're painting in Photoshop, you have a regular brush shape. Most brush shapes are just going to be like a, a standard round, soft round, or hard round brush. But you can change that shape to really anything you want. Um, and that's what we're about to do. So we're going to go to Image, sorry, Edit, and then down to Define Brush Preset. All right, and let's just call this Flare and hit Enter. OK, so now we have our brush preset. Let's go back to this document. I'm going to hit F for full screen on this. We're, let's create a new layer. And I'm going to use my brush tool, so B for the brush tool. Now, to get to your Flare brush, just right click. And you'll get your little brush menu here. Let's just go ahead and see what we've got. And if you go all the way down to the very end, your last brush should be the exact brush that you just made. So here's our flare brush. Now, you can continue to add all kinds of really cool special effects to these brushes, or you can just click, and then you've got flare. Every time you click, you've got a little bit of flare. You can just click and drag, and you'll get something <laughs> like that if you wanted to do something like that. So there are a lot of really cool things you can do. Let's just zoom in. Now, this flare. We're actually going to make it look like it's coming from the lights. So if you did want to like add some variation, you can totally do that. Like if you wanted to add some like angle jitter to this, then this would mean every time it would make a new piece of flare, it would rotate it around. So we would add a little bit of variation to that, which is totally possible. You could scatter this around. You could turn your size jitter up. So where you could, let's say, if you wanted to make fairy dust or something like that, you could just paint it around like that, and you would make you know like crazy, crazy flare. Um, but for right now, really, we're just going to just choose something really, really simple. All right, let's go ahead and deselect. And now we can just go ahead and add this to our lights. So let's go ahead and I want to keep everything really nice and grouped, grouped well. 
So here in our left lights, we've got this light here. We're just gonna zoom in and uh, kind of decide the amount of flare. All right, and basically it's my job to just do this a few times. So I can answer some questions while I do this. Um, keep in mind that we actually did create this, um, we created these uh, basically different uh, lights from the same light source. So I could have done this in the beginning if I wanted to and kept from having to do this over and over for each of them, but this will give me some time to answer some questions.